in the 70s. Farming was really good. And then in the 80s, there was a big drought and we didn't grow anything. And the next few years, we didn't grow much either. So there were a lot of lean years there. And Joe found some manufacturing jobs, welding, and that's how the endeavor started. When I first seen Joe, I never thought that that was the owner because he looked just like everybody else, you know, and had the long hair with a ponytail and a big old beard. He's this regular old guy. Joe's a very unassuming guy. He drives the same old pickup. He doesn't do anything to put himself in the spotlight. It's, he does things because it's the right thing to do. It's the example you should follow, I guess. Back in 08, we were all really nervous. A lot of manufacturing places around us are laying people off. We had 40 to 50 people we didn't have work for. I mean, what are we gonna do? We got a warehouse full of product. We got all these people counting on us. And Joe walked in and just said, you know, the guys, there's, there's no lack of work. It's just there's never somebody willing to pay for it. I'll pay for it. You guys go find the work. And so that's what we did. We went out in the community and we found work. It's about a man who has decided to do more work even though his own business has hit a slump. Humboldt, Kansas is getting a facelift. And all the labor comes free of charge. So at full pay, Joe gives his workers new tasks to improve their little town. Now refurbished baseball diamonds await the first pitch of spring. I was part of the team that built this field very humbling to know somebody that isn't just about the bottom line. It's about us and making sure that the people that work there are taken care of. And that's the kind of culture that we all love. It was the human side of manufacturing that attracted me to BMW. These are the clippings of Richie Kearns, our employee that had ALS. When we got the diagnosis, we wanted something that was nice for him to look out his windows at. So we built a flower bed, sidewalks, porches. It was for him, but it was for all of us too. It's hard to lose one of your own. probably three other kids on the baseball team that his dad's working with him. Here we have metrics like walking through the shop and counting smiles. I love the fact that every so often Joe just out of the blue will ask me, how many employees bought a new house this year? And those metrics matter too. Very rarely do you find a company that is a family have a work family. It's crazy seeing people who have been here for over 25 years. When you start a business, you have to wear a lot of hats. And in the process of growing that business, you hire the most talented people you can find, and they gradually take away those responsibilities that you were doing originally. At this stage of my life, I'm interested in the impact on the 400 families that work here, and also on having this business in Humboldt, Kansas.